damn, champ. Say it ain't so. Tommy Fury, like his brother Tyson, has now reportedly also been denied entry into the United States over this Kinahan investigation, which means that the Jake Paul fight is unlikely to go ahead. Now, if this turns out to be true, then I am very disappointed because I was looking forward to this fight. Yes, it's a pair of novices, but you often get good fights between young, strong novices in their athletic prime. I mean, when AJ fought Dylan White, it was essentially a pair of novices, and that was a great fight. So I was looking forward to it. The personalities, the clash of styles and egos, and everything to play for in terms of Tommy Fury trying to defend his family name or represent his family and what have you. Jake Paul trying to establish himself as a legitimate real boxer, somebody to be taken seriously. I liked all that. I was looking forward to it. So disappointing news, at least for me. But August 6th is over a month away. Hopefully they can come to some type of resolution before then, but this does put the whole thing in doubt. Now, there's another narrative out there, and I'm not saying I subscribe to it, but I do like to put all arguments forward when they haven't been heard previously. And the narrative is that Tommy Fury wasn't really denied entry into the United States. He's only acting like he was in order to get out of the fight, in order to have an excuse to get out of the fight. Again, I'm not saying I believe that and I haven't seen any evidence to substantiate this claim. Therefore, that needs to go on the back burner for now, but this is something that I've seen people say online, okay? Because there are certainly a lot of people who are of the view that Tommy Fury wasn't really injured or sick or whatever it was when he pulled out first time. There are certain people out there who think Tommy Fury genuinely doesn't fancy his chances in this fight or he can't take the pressure of having to defend his family reputation against somebody who, in his words, he should be defeating easily, right? The guy's just a YouTuber. So from a pride perspective, from a family honor perspective, from a public perception perspective, right? Tommy Fury probably, well, he certainly feels a lot of pressure. Let me not say he feels more pressure than Jake Paul because pressure is really a self-inflicted thing to some extent. Uh, But Tommy Fury has put himself in his own mind in a particular category where he's a real boxer and Jake Paul isn't. And therefore he's putting pressure on himself to be able to defeat someone like Jake Paul easily and for it to be a mismatch. You know, I often suspected that Audley Harrison was somebody who put too much pressure on himself. He put the type of pressure which he wasn't able to handle on himself. Now, some people can handle that kind of pressure, and that's why they love heaping more and more pressure on themselves. For example, like David Hay, he was one of these guys. Now, you could say that it didn't quite work out against Klitschko, but I don't think that was really a pressure thing. I just think that was a style thing, a size thing. And it just showed the limitations of David Hay technically as a fighter. But for the most part, Hay thrived on pressure. Nigel Benn thrived on pressure. Okay. Audley Harrison, if he'd been smarter about his boxing psychology, he would have understood that he needs to alleviate the pressure that he feels rather than put him more. Different strokes for different folks. If you've got a fighter who doesn't handle pressure well, as a trainer and as his team, you need to find ways to alleviate the pressure. Do you know what I mean? And again, it all comes down to psychology. Anyway, I don't know if any of this is going on with Tommy Fury in terms of him feeling so much pressure that he wants to get out of the fight. I don't know whether that's really the case. It's all speculation. And by the way, before I go, I know there's going to be some smart asses trying to say that, oh, Audley would still have been rubbish even if he hadn't heaped loads of pressure on himself. Well, I'm not saying he would have ever been the greatest fight. I'm just talking about him being as good as he could ever be. And I don't think he was as good as he could ever be. I think that if a different mental approach had been taken with Audley, he could have achieved a bit more. How much more? I don't know. 
but I think he could have done better than he did in the ring if a different mental approach had been taken. I know there was all sorts of stuff outside the ring with him going to war with the boxing establishment in the UK and them, according to Audley, using all types of dirty tricks and tactics. I get all that. But a lot of the pressure and a lot of the anxiety that he ex clearly experienced in the ring was self-inflicted, in my view. Anyway, I'll leave that there.